So my name is Leah and I'm from the PR department of Audacity Capital. And at the moment, we're just um, conducting some interviews with our traders just to get to know about their background and how they got into the industry. Um, so my first question for you is um, just to introduce yourself and to introduce your background to trading. Okay. Um, well, I used to be a management consultant. I worked for, um, I used to work for Roland Berger. It's a strategy consultancy company um, as a project manager. And um, then after a while, I did some other stuff as well. Like I worked for EDRD, European Bank for Reconstruction Development. I used to work for the World Bank as an independent consultant, things like that. Um, I have an MBA uh, from US. Um, I almost done the CFA. Actually, still struggling with the level three. Um, so what else? Um, about seven years ago, uh, I decided to start trading. And uh, the first day I trade with the real money, I was pretty successful. I made like 5,000. And wow. then, yeah, but uh, I was lucky. I, I believe it was uh, Mario Draghi's speech. And uh, Euro USD went like 200 pips. Uh, at that day. So I've just opened um, you know, a couple of lots. I was crazy. I didn't know what I, I was doing. So I made five grand and then I lost this five grand within a week or so. So, and once I lost it, I thought, okay, I have to, you know, I have to start studying how it works. And it took me a while. Yeah. I was doing a lot of um, demo trading, um, you know, I even uh, trade one demo account for almost a year. And uh, it was fun because I started with 1 million virtual money. I ended up with 220 million. And uh, I'm not sure I, I could ever repeat it in real life, you know. But at that yes. time, I was, I was doing like, you know, whatever I want because it's a virtual money, right? And then uh, when I um, started to trade with the real money, that when the problem starts usually, you know, you have to overcome your fear, your greed and things like that. So basically most of the time you start, you know, struggling with yourself. So it's not techniques like whenever I look at my chart setups and stuff, this is actually my setup. If you want to take a look. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah this is how I trade, right? Oh, wow. So, this is a lot yeah. It is kind of helpful. Um, I was doing a lot of trading on my own account, but mostly with the futures and S&P 500. And I was doing okay, but uh, then I decided to, to, to join to Audacity Capital and see whether I can do it with the EURUSD. And I kind of struggling with that because, um, you know, every tool has its own unique features. And it takes a while for you to start understanding what's going on. For example, with S&P 500 is relatively easy because whenever market opens at 9.30, you already know that it was going to be a big volatility. And if you're lucky and you are on the good side, then you can make a lot of money, right? But the Euro USD, it's not the case because sometimes it goes at 8.30, sometimes it may go 9.30, sometimes it might go even, it doesn't go at all. It can be in very, you know, short range. And this is where I mostly losing money like everyone else. So I yeah. couldn't find any trends yet. So, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Yeah, yeah I think that's the, that's the same with most people that I've talked to, um, they have the same problems, but it's just being right on time. I guess just checking it, like having your setup must be helpful because you see a bit of everything all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. So my next question is, um, when and how did you learn to trade successfully? Like, was it through trial and error or did um, you teach yourself? Did someone teach you anything like that? Um. I would say initially it was trial and error. And then, um, as I said, once I blew my account a couple of times, uh, I started looking for, um, you know, 
the way to find out. So I started reading books. And currently my library is like at least 100 books, which I read. And, you know, that's kind of funny. There's a lot of garbage out there. You know, they promise you to tell you everything, but in reality, it's not the case. So, yeah. Uh, but uh, there were books which helped me to understand. Uh, no one's really um, open you all the secrets. So what happened is that um, there are a couple of um, testers, maybe you heard of them. There is a Forex tester. It's uh, the name of the program, which allows yeah, you yeah. To, to train yourself on um, historical data. So basically what happened is, let's say someone tell me this is a strategy. And then what I do is I'm going to this Forex tester and I'm looking through the certain period of time to see whether the strategy is viable or not. You know? The other thing is that uh, because of the COVID and all of this increased volatility, a lot of things changed. You know, For example, um, uh, because of the very high volatility, some strategies just doesn't work. Or you have to go to a short time frames like one minute five minute and try to you know get some something out of it because if you just go and start trading on one hour it's going to be fatal you know because yeah definitely whatever happened and you know like uh, trump sometimes uh, tweet something and then you know market become crazy so things like that happens so it become more and more uh, difficult to trade but you know with the experience yeah. I get what you mean yeah. yeah well I'm pretty sure that you know this kind of thing like everyone struggles right what has your experience been like with audacity capital um, regardless of your performance um, and you're with the are you with the funded trader program yeah I'm yeah so trader. how's your experience been with that so far you know, it's good. Like if you talk about the, the execution and spreads, margins and everything, it's very nice. It's even better than my, uh, my own account was uh, Oanda. I have accounts, like I'm trading with an MT4. Oanda is one of the largest Forex broker in the world. Well, it's like 1% of the whole trade. So it's pretty good. And, uh, it actually works better in terms of um, uh, the way how you can you know, trade, especially if you do a lot of uh, trades per day, you know, with the scalping strategy and stuff, it's, it's really important to have a fast execution without any stippage. So Audacity yeah, is definitely. good. Yeah. I'm, glad, I'm glad you're enjoying it.